Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV Anycomi video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the NFT narrative and if it'll actually make a bunch of people millionaires um, from this, you know, from this narrative, apparently, that is supposed to pump everything on VV. Now, the way that I personally look at this, I look at this, I always relate things back to gaming because that's what I know best. When it comes down to gaming, do you still have people in this generation right now who play games like, you know, the old school Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, um, Tetris, stuff like that? Yeah, you still have people who play the old school things. However, the majority of people are playing, you know, Call of Duty, Fortnite, and stuff like this. Now, why? Why aren't people playing stuff like Pac-Man and just those type of games? Because now you have microphones where you can talk to one another on the microphone when you play Call of Duty. You can actually go up against real people in real time. You go against one another. Um, you can, you know, you can type to each other, message, communicate. It's the social aspects of it, but it's also the fact that there's so much you all can do together. When you play Black Ops 6, you can actually play so many different game modes. You can play Search and Destroy, Hardpoint, Kill Confirmed, um... You could play zombies. That's a whole nother mode in itself. Zombies. You can play multiple different zombies maps. There's so much stuff that you can learn about it. Now, let's dive into a game of zombies. Not only do you just go and take on as many zombies as possible, they have spiders. They have things that fly that you can shoot at. They have big dudes. They have big dudes with a lot of arms. <laughs> they have perks. They have multiple different types of perks you can get. So, essentially, it's tons of utility on top of utility on top of utility and different things that you can do. That is what it takes to be a successful game in this day and age and generation. Fortnite, you can have a ton of building. You can do a ton of building. Not only can you build, you can do a ton of editing. You can shoot. You can use a ton of different weapons. You can use a bunch of different variety of weapons. Like, you, it, it's even with gaming in itself, gaming itself you know, it is doing something. And even still, when it comes to games, they're progressively having to do more when it comes down to games. Now, thinking about the NFT narrative, it's, a, it's based around collectors. But what people are not realizing is with what collecting is supposed to be about right now in this day and age is about what collecting is going to be in the future. What is going to be in the future? Not trying to take something old, obsolete. The whole existence of NFT technology and why you're making them NFTs in the first place is to future-proof them, to bring them into the future. Because if you just wanted to hold your collectibles and stuff and do nothing with it, you would just keep the the, the, the real-life versions. You, you would keep the physical copies of these things. The whole point of bringing things digital is because now with this technology, you can do things with it. It can come with utilities. It can be experiences. It can be fun. I'm not talking about just tweeting and messaging people and, and walking through one another's showrooms. I mean, the technology that exists now, you can tie these NFTs directly to a game like Fortnite, directly to a game like Call of Duty, directly. You could have genuinely real utility and use cases for all of these NFTs. That is what that technology allows for. And that is why it was so groundbreaking. But the narrative that people are talking about is how the IP itself is all VV needs to sell its products. VV needs to go parabolic and for everything to explode and, and go and make everybody who's holding the project rich and stuff like this. It's a narrative that makes no sense at all. It's like, will there be some pieces on VV that's probably going to be successful and see some success somewhere? Absolutely. Will, will true collectors still collect on VV and buy things on VV? Yeah, the older collectors who don't really expect too much from the things that they collect, they just want to hold them because it's cool and nostalgic for them. Yeah, those guys will probably spend some money. It'll probably be a small niche community that still spends some money. Just like people who nowadays are collecting old Sega Genesis or Nintendo 64s and that type of stuff. You have people who today... They still collect those things, but those people are the minority. They're the minority. And Vivi, what was really, what was a selling point for Vivi was bringing collecting to the masses, collectors at heart. So if it's collectors at heart, are we bringing, 
are we trying to touch the masses still or are we trying to just only have the small amount of collectors that's already in the world because the whole thing with vivi is everyone collects something right but the thing is i would rather buy a skin in fortnite or buy a skin in call of duty or buy something in any other game because those games those skins and assets in those games they come with different forms of utility i can play something with it right off right out of the box like as soon as i buy it i can go and do something with it immediately so when we think about the fact that the world and everything in the world is moving towards more and more and more utility and people are trying to make an argument that oh no just because vb has all these licenses that's all it takes their licenses, the licenses are starting to go other places too. Other people are starting to have licenses. Does anybody have as many as VV? No. But I don't believe that the first company with the IP or the first existence of this IP on the blockchain is what's going to be valuable moving forward into the future. Because I don't care about what game is the first shooter online and that's the game that I'm going to play. I don't play the, the first. I play the best. I want to enjoy the best. I want to experience the best. I want to be in the biggest community with the best experience. One of the things that kept VV together was the community. Now, if the community can get back solid where it's not so much manipulation and shady shit going on and people trying to attack the wrong people just because people have valid criticisms and stuff like that, if the community can get back on one accord, it will draw in more people, which tends to, that tends to, you know, make things a lot better. But as long as the community is divided and everybody feel like, oh, that person can leave, this person can leave, like they did that with the whole community. How wise is that for your investment? A lot of people who have left have a lot of influence and a lot of people that they're capable of reaching. And a lot of money has left the, the project as well. And people were foolish enough to think that it's a smart decision to just say, oh, cool, everybody can just leave. That was never a wise decision. And only people who done mortgaged their homes and is 95% of their net worth in this project. Those are the only people who feel this way. The people who are so desperate for it to be successful, they don't want to hear any criticisms. But the fact of the matter is people need to hear criticisms. People need to listen. People need to understand the serious risk associated with this investment. And people need to realize that if we can talk about these things, discuss these things like adults, we could get out ahead of these issues. We could have always gotten out ahead of these issues. But when people bring up valid issues and valid criticisms, everybody want to attack instead of saying, you know what? I, I see what you're saying. Let's try to get ahead of this before other people feel that way or before, you know, other people get hurt. Let, let's get out in front of this. But no, people just want to pretend like, nah, that don't even exist. And then this becomes more and more obvious that all of it exists as the years go on. And then it just makes the project look worse and worse and worse and worse. It's like, how long are y'all going to let the same pattern go on? Like, at what point are you going to wisen up and realize that we got to do something different if you want the project to survive, if you want the project to actually thrive? We need to know certain things. We need to know information. We need to know if they're considering the fact that everything in the future is going to have utility. And where does VV fit into that? Y'all the first ones with the IP, but who has the coolest utility? I said in one of my last videos, I would rather be with a, a, a collectibles company who has one IP, but a thousand different forms of fun utility than to, a, a company with a thousand different IPs and only um, only one, like only thing you can do is just look at it. You can't do nothing with it. Like, I don't want to be in a company where all you can do is look at it. I want to do something. I want to experience something. I want to be able to bring my friends and say more than just, hey, look at this. If I wanted to show my friends a bunch of collectibles, I could just Google I could just Google collectibles and we could just look at Google pictures. Like what what like who wants to do that? Who how many people actually do that? No one does that. Who cares? So this is what people need to realize. This is what people need to start to understand. We could actually go somewhere. The project could still be successful. The project is it's not beyond saving and beyond fixing. I think David and Dan's heart is probably still in the right place. I think it's just they're surrounded by the wrong people and it don't matter. Or they have been surrounded by the wrong people. This guy, this Ben guy, seems to be coming in doing some some decent work, and he has them admitting things and holding themselves accountable and stuff like that. So kudos to him; he's doing a great job on that front. But they need more of the right people surrounding them. 
and their policy to hire a bunch of yes men and try to manipulate things and try to silence people and bring certain people down and stuff like that. Whoever's been behind those decisions is stupid, pathetic, and they're clearly just out to make a lot of money. And the fact that so many people who shouldn't be in position has been in position and had power within the Vivi and Ecomi ecosystem, that is an issue. Y'all got lawsuits and all type of stuff going on. Who is in charge of hiring and who is making these shitty decisions? Because that's what's going on. Ecomi makes a lot of shitty decisions. So that's what needs to change. And the community should be the first ones um, talking about these decisions. Everyone pretend like the so many people didn't have to leave. All So many people just didn't feel like they were being heard. What happens when you stop feeling like you're being heard in a relationship? Somebody's going to walk away. Some The breakup happens. So it's obvious that that's, that's what was going to happen with Vivi. It's always going to be that way. So people need to stop thinking that, oh, we have infinite people. There's billions of people on the planet. Trust me, those people are going to want some forms of utility. They're going to want things to do. No one is impressed by Googling pictures of collectibles and staring at pictures. No one cares. You walk through a, you, you walk through, it'll get to the point where you walk through a couple of showrooms, you don't walk through them all. How unique do you think they're going to be able to keep making these showrooms? And the ones that are extremely unique, how often do you think they'll be able to keep making these extremely unique um, showrooms? You're only going to be able to do so much and see the same collectible set up different ways so many times. So, Instead of trying to sit here and put a band-aid approach and, and try to try to, you know, pump up some bullshit, how about we get to to really working on something that's going to have longevity and, and going to be future proof? Because that's what you all need to worry about. If look at how far down this investment has fallen. Even if there is a pump, it's gonna to need to pump higher. So at least there, there needs to be longevity in it so it can keep pumping up and have reasons to pump up. Right now it just does not. But yo, that's pretty much it, Joe. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I just want to have this, have this discussion because I think it is an important one to have. Hopefully, you all understand where I'm coming from. Hopefully, it's not, you know, too much hate and stuff. I don't care about the hate personally, but I've said it in the past. I've said it years ago. I would rather us discuss solutions and stop attacking one another. It's completely stupid to be out here trying to attack people who are speaking on the truth and bringing up valid criticisms. Attack the criticism. Attack... Attack the criticism. Tell Vivi and Ikomi to do something about the criticism. This shouldn't be able to be criticized. Why is that not happening? Give us a few answers. What's going on with that? It's that simple. Not none of the, oh, we don't need to know anything. Just have faith. Congratulations. You are down 90 plus percent and you still have faith. Yeah, you're better than a lot of us. Congrats. You're still broker than a lot of us too, thanks to this. So come on now, like come together and actually speak, communicate, and build the project and the community back up as one. It's very simple to do that. If people would stop sitting here acting like certain people who actually care as the bad guys and praising people who only say something positive, people who are selling you these dreams, salesmen are going to sell. It's the people who not telling you the things that you wanna hear is what, that's, that's the opinions and, and thoughts that you need to hear because that's the stuff that people are really gonna resonate with if they're not down bad and, and stuck in a project. So. Let me know what you all think. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.